Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Oh, God, thank you for coming in this afternoon, this evening, uh, morning, or afternoon, whenever you're visiting me. Thank you for coming over, visiting me, me at the house, okay? Because it's a family affair. Well, first of all, we want to give condolences to Nini's son that was said from her mouth. Um, he had a heart attack and he had a stroke. Now, our prayers go up to him for him to the lord to get him and ask for a speedy recovery because sometimes we do do we do do dumb things to ourselves and we think we can pretty much hide them from our family members and whatnot i get it got it good i did it when i was younger my daughter did it when she was younger and we tried to keep it from our parents and she tried to keep it from me too as well because i just knew in my heart of hearts that my child hadn't lost her virginity i had I, I, she i was saying she didn't smoke she didn't drink child my child was doing all of that and then some okay so when your child get a certain age where they getting into that young adulthood or probably junior and senior year of high school don't always think that you know your child, okay? Because somebody could probably tell you stories. You know, out of sight, out of mind. You taught them right. You showed them right. But yet, they went and did stuff wrong. Because some of the stuff that my daughter was saying she did, she was just in the kitchen or in the air, you know the living room area with her friends. And they got to talking. And I'm listening like, ah. and then she caught my eye. She was like, oops. I said, yeah, that is a oops. But, you know, I always had to put prayer into the Lord to protect her from her comings and goings on the highways and byways because you try to get anything off on your parents if you can and you want them to continue to thinking that you're this nice excellent person that does everything right because you were taught right now you know just because we were taught right don't mean we do right all the time and we do have to confess our sins for those that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ or you believe in Buddha, you but whatever. Okay, you get my point where I'm going with it, right? Well, I just wanted to come on here and say, Nene, why you didn't keep your mouth shut? Why did you not keep your mouth shut? Because you basically put your foot in the, in your mouth and didn't know what the hell you were saying. Did you know your son was out there? Smoking hookahs. Hell, he he has, a, or he was, uh, what do you call it? He had a business where he was selling hookah, and you were advertising it for him. Do you not remember this stuff? Do you not remember it? And hookah, when you smoke hookah, it's burning over some coals that were turning to uh, tobacco, and you inhale the shit. It's bad as smoking cigarettes or the ooey. And God knows what the little kids or the little young adults be putting in there. I heard you can put marijuana in there and smoke it up like that. So I just said, why Nene got to come on here and lie? She don't know what her son be putting up there on social medias, on them reels. And because she was sitting up there chasing Shabba Man. And we would not put Shabba Man on our um I was screaming no more if we can help it. Because y'all know, if y'all been rocking with me, y'all know who I call Shabba Man. And that man is still not, hadn't gotten a divorce. I'm pretty sure either Nene done paid off them folks for his wife. Yeah, Shabba Man wife suing her. She either done paid her off or they still in talks of doing so. Because she's still messing around with this married man now you know karma is a bitch and karma will come back where it don't hit you but it hits somebody you love you understand and then when she said brent don't smoke and don't drink i never seen him drink now 
But that don't mean hell. If he was smoking, he can drink. Is that plausible? It is possible that he can do that. Only his friends can tell uh, you the stories, Nene. So maybe you need to go talk to his true, true friends, okay? But a mother knows. A mother knows when a child ain't walking right, ain't talking right, ain't looking right. Parents know. We just we just be hoping that it ain't what it is. And in hopes that we can help you break that habit. Because habits of smoking cigarettes, smoking tobacco, doing the hookahs. If you weren't even really saying you were doing it, then you're still inhaling secondhand smoke, which is just as detrimental. You're exposing a person to tobacco smoke, which contains harmful components such as carbon monoxide. Do you know what carbon monoxide is? Let me just give you a demonstration. Did y'all remember the equalizer with Denzel Washington, his pretty self, and he got this uh, bad ex-cop and trapped him in his own car and put the, uh, what do you call it, was cranking up the car. See, the car that's in your garage it can emit, meaning it can release those carbon monoxide poisoning. Where you want to die like that, all they got to do is shut the garage down. Uh, put your windows up and put the, um, what do you call it, run the car for a long time. Then you'll be dying of carbon monoxide poisoning. But, uh, and these are just risk factors. And did you not know? But I'm going to tell you, here you go, Nene. Your son, you said, had a heart attack, right? Don't you know the uses of uh, smoking hookah and inhaling tobacco can cause heart disease and heart attacks? Did you not know that, Nene? If you don't know, look it up, boo. Look it up. But I just get so tired of you coming over here trying to paint a picture. And then you're trying to paint a picture to us two weeks later. I'm like, did somebody leak? his information out from the hospital because you know they sometimes do that here and there i ain't gonna say i can say i never done it but i ain't gonna say i ain't never known nobody to do it when a celebrity came up on the floor or whatever you know what i'm saying Nene? so i'm like first of all stop telling the world you know what your son does because you don't you don't they always want to be playing the dutiful person and all that the good kid and he could have just been like you said, filling his dad. Because you remember that car accident he got in? Y'all remember that car accident that her restaurant had shut down for about two weeks, allegedly? Yeah, he was he was involved in a fatal, well, near fatal, how they was putting it, car accident. I mean, the car was jacked up. Who was jacked? Like, you would think nobody had got out of that, that were in the car that particular day. So, was alcohol or... Uh, Smoking tobacco or smoking a ooey, was that a part of that car crash he had, Nene? Girl, tell us. We want to know, because right now, you ain't spitting out but some lies. And tell you the truth, you shouldn't have been coming over here in the first place, putting that information out. I don't care who had heard about your son. They didn't get it from you, your mouth, because technically, he's a grown man. And you are actually spilling out. Uh, medical conditions and medical issues that you shouldn't be it, it's like you're violating HIPAA policies out there I mean did he tell you to go on line or on live and tell people what happened to him did he tell you to do that because you said he was still having trouble speaking so my deal with you you just lied all the way around it was best for you to have gotten a PR person to come out once you know it had leaked out or did you leak it out yourself nene which one is it because i know you do try to stay in the public i i know you do but you you exposed your son's private medical condition to the public now if he can't really speak why were you out there trying to uh tell his business that's a hip violation all day every day but you his mama, so I'm pretty sure he knows about HIPAA. And he probably didn't want you to do it, but he knew you were going to do it anyway. And then you were trying to, I saw you were struggling with the words uh, giving. Because it's like you wanted to say, yeah, give him some money. You didn't want no flowers. You didn't want no cards. You wanted money. That's how you had to come out and say, yes, please donate to a GoFundMe fund to help his rehabilitation stuff. Because I know. 
you don't have an insurance from an employer because you're not employed right now. But even if you were, you're an independent contractor, meaning you have to get your own health care benefits, medical benefits, dental benefits, vision benefits. You have to do it all by yourself. So, or technically, Brett should be working somewhere. If y'all are in the restaurant business, he should have his own insurance. Okay, or y'all should have a family insurance. All right, not a burial insurance. I'm talking about normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill health care insurance. But then you said something that else that puzzled me, and Nene. You sat up there and said, you, uh, the club, women, why, let me see how you said it. You said something about the club is still open. Yes, it is. The managers you have, are uh, they're making it do what it do. Then you're going to say, um... You and it was Brent's club. You, you and him were running it. It was y'all business, or you in business with both your son Brent and your husband Greg Leeds at the time. It was a family thing. So, uh, Nene, have you found out that you don't know what the hell you're doing too with the restaurant business? This is a good time for you to just bow gracefully. And you were alluding to the fact you're putting it out there because you didn't do the right proper thing with trying to come up. And put a lounge club in a shopping mall plaza. Where we do that at and why? We had been questioned that. But you were too headstrong, too out there, want to be the be it, all it girl or woman. And you just felt like you needed to do something where the, uh, the rest of the celebrities would come and patron your business. Because it's hard. If you hadn't talked to anybody, you should have did your research. It's extremely hard to run a restaurant and damn sure hard to run a club and find profit in it. Because you said on this live you did that, do we know anybody? Get them in touch with you about taking over your club. Who going to want to take over something they need that's up in a shopping plaza? First and foremost, we know you're leasing. So don't act like you're sitting up there owning because you can't own something in a shopping plaza that somebody else owns and they just rent out the spaces. Do you understand that, Nene? We're not stupid out here. That's why I said it would have been best that you let a PR person come and ascertain what need to be put out there and what not to be put out there because right now you're still looking like a fool. You're still out here doing stupid ass shit because if we didn't know about it two weeks ago ain't no sense of hearing about it now and you weren't the one that needed to be telling the story <sighs> nee, 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 nee. but i tell you buy off gracefully yes yeah, seek don't go on social media looking for nobody. You should know people by now. You've been in the business how many years? You should know people in the club life. Hell, ask Peter. He ain't a really good person to be asking because he be fucking things up as well with uh, calling himself owning a club or this, that, and the third and him owing the back taxes, lanes, and all this other foolishness, okay? So, no, he probably would not be the best. Uh, I remember P. J. P. Diddy had a restaurant called Justin's in Atlanta, and that shit was closed within three years. I think it was probably two. So it's a lot of black people get investing in these clubs and these restaurants, and then they really don't know what they're doing. Ask Candy Burris, okay? That's who you should have been talking with, forging a friendship with, instead of a uh lackluster no type of relationship with candy because you always trying to get one over her or make her look like lesser than and you fail miserably even doing that but at least i can say her restaurants are still there yes it has taken some hits on you know procedures not being done done right you know uh the health code inspections we do know that but she still got her doors open. People are still coming in now. And I don't know if they're coming because they tourists or they're coming because they really want to support her. Or, hell, they just like the food. I, I really don't know. Okay? 
but you could have, you should have talked to her about some business dealings instead of thinking you know everything. You are the bit be all it all person instead of being humble and talk to people that have been doing this for a long time instead of just being an ideal and now you're ready to get rid of it because you know I whether you had the money that they gave you and I do believe I don't care what nobody say that they did break you off some money maybe it was hush money who knows okay we don't really care at this point but you see that money being taken out that club and having to have to pay payroll have to have to pay vendors and all this kind of stuff it's a lot that's why a lot of people don't own those businesses restaurants and lounges or clubs it looks glamorous it looked like you could make some money but it's really hard working you have to watch everybody when it comes to those drinks that you like to partake of alcohol ah, and the people that are serving the alcohol they may be drinking on you for free too and your best top shelf shit okay but y'all need a uh this is a good time to buy out. Like I said, I wouldn't be on social media saying, uh, tell somebody, if you know somebody, to come uh, and, and help set up an appointment with me so we can discuss selling of the uh, club, the Lenithia. I'm like, Nene, you just in a warehouse, really. A warehouse that's built around to make it look like a club. You don't own the property. You don't own the building. You don't own the land that it sits on, girl. What are you talking about? You want somebody to buy your stuff you have in there? That's maybe what you're talking about. Because you're not talking about property. And you're not talking about a physical building that's owned by you. Okay? <sighs> but let's just hear for just edification. In case where you didn't hear or see or know what I'm talking about. About Nene telling her son's business when he damn near 23 years old. Um, so, obviously, uh, I've gotten tons of text messages. Tons of emails. Everybody's asking and concerned about Brent. And uh, we thank you guys so much. Um. Uh, this is not the way I wanted it to come out. Uh, we wanted to be able to talk about it ourselves when Brent was in a better place. Um, so here I am because I, I, I would rather the correct thing be out there than something that's not correct. Uh, two weeks ago today, uh, Brent had congested heart failure and a stroke. Uh, he's only 23, so he's really young for something like that to happen to him. Um, the first thing, you know, a lot of doctors think of when someone that age come in with that kind of condition is maybe they have done drugs or maybe they have some serious infection, maybe HIV or some sort of infection is what I'm being told by the doctors. Brent doesn't drink or do drugs. And obviously they've tested him for all of those things. They also tested him for HIV. Um, they... But uh, isn't hookah, tobacco, isn't that a sometimes considered a drug as well? Because it's a lot of baseball players can't do without snuff. Okay, dipping the stuff and all that. A lot of people can't not give up cigarettes. It's all a form of cancer-causing agents when you overcess in the part of smoking, and especially smoking hookah. Okay, I already told you that can cause a heart attack as well, which that's what you're saying he had or the doctor saying he had and then to look at Brent not being funny because I'm considered obese when they look at me as well if you're t three times your weight that you shouldn't be or even two times the doctor automatically say you're obese okay like they're right there with Brent they would probably say he's obese because he's not meeting his targeted BMI um 
body mass index and you know he might got a little stomach as well that's another factor too i ain't i don't like it i don't like the term but hey i'm about 80 pounds over my normal weight for my height which is five two so that's just telling you it and they, yeah, they just always write it down and say, well, you know, we have to put you on the little beast category. But I, we know you can uh, handle that. You can get it back under control. Just eat right. Fruits, vegetables, and uh, lean meats and, you know, all this stuff. Stay away from sweets. Stay away from, what do you call that? Uh, general, what do we call it? General, gen, what is it? Generic or genomic? It's GMO. Genetic modifying uh, food. Okay. So, but let's go back were thinking that um, maybe he had caught COVID and he didn't know that he had COVID. Um, they did see, the doctors are saying they did see some things like that happen if they caught the Delta variant. And, and again, how does, uh, I remember when you were trying not to catch COVID, and you had Greg be in one room, you be in one room. You said Brent was in one room. How can he not not know if he got COVID? If he felt really bad, were you going with him to the doctors? Was he going to the doctors? Because some, um, sometimes COVID can mimic the flu or a bad you know, cold or whatnot. It, it's possible. Trust me. I didn't feel like I had it, but I did have uh, the feeling like an elephant was sitting on my chest. I was very long, well, I was short-winded when I climbed my stairs to come up to my house, uh, to the upstairs of our house. And uh, it was just a feel of unwellness. And that was around the holiday time. So did Brent ever experience any of those symptoms? Did, you know, like a normal cold or flu-type symptoms? And y'all didn't go because you didn't want to go. Well, you know, boys are hard anyway. And men are hard to go to the doctors because they always feel like there's somebody going to tell them they ain't got so many uh, years to live or so many months. And they don't feel like hearing none of that stuff. So they shy away until they can't do anything about the situation they're, they're in. And they just have to go. And that's because somebody else in their family, some loved one, uh, forced them to go. Because they weren't getting better with treating themselves. But we'll move on with Nini. Uh, he never knew he had COVID. Um, I've never known him to have COVID. Um, so they have run a number of tests on him to see what could have possibly made this happen to him. And uh, we are still trying to figure out because if we knew the cause obviously they could treat the cause um it was, it was very scary um um I, I don't even want to go into details of what happened and how i found out and what condition he was in um obviously a stroke is a very serious thing and so um he's struggling you know with speaking and um it's, I, I don't know. She stands okay, the and that's where it cut off, and I didn't have the other part to her interview, but it, it was, it's really wasn't an interview, it's just like a rant, or something that she felt she wanted to, I guess, get publicity out of, for lack of a better word, because I'm like, hell, if we didn't know two weeks ago, and he he could have went from bad to worse to the graveyard. When were you going to let us know? Not that you had to let us know at all, because it ain't none of our damn business, okay? We got it. We're good. And we're going to move on. But when you come and you say stuff like that, it's like, oh, nee, 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 nee. And see, I'm just so upset because you're telling you his business and he's a grown-ass man. He's a grown and maybe your child, but that man is grown. And you shouldn't be telling his business out here like that. I mean, what if he was married? I'm pretty sure his wife would have been like, don't tell his business. Yeah, live your life. If anybody happened to doing something on you, you, you tell that. But you don't tell my husband's, you know, business like that. That's, that's inviting people to come in to an area that's supposed to be private. 
So Nina, yes, yes. Condolences definitely go out to Brent. And hopefully Brent would tell you something in a nice way about his business is his business and not your business. For the streets to know anything. But yeah, hookah can cause heart attacks. It can cause the corrosion of your esophagus. Your lungs can be impaired. You 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 know your lungs look healthy. We just say they were white, just to give you a, a eye picture and a color. And then just see them after smoking hookah for a very long time or smoking and whatnot. Your lungs are like charcoal. Okay, it went from a red, nice set of hearts or a heart, and then it goes to like black. Because it can't function well. Because you're doing these things like putting tobacco in your system. Which is a cancer causing agent. Nene. Okay. And then we never know anything. Anything about the accident. But just that he had a almost fatal near accident with the car. You remember that Nene? What was he doing? Was he speeding? Was he drinking and driving? Was he under some other type of influence? Tell us, honey, since you want to tell us everything else about Brent. Hey, where is Bryson at? Is he doing well? Have you checked on him lately, Nene? Oh, my goodness gracious. But, Lord, yes, we got to keep Brent in prayer and keep Brent in prayer that his mother stop telling his business out here on these streets. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.